Hi, so today I'm just going to show you um, how I prepare the canvases to use for paintings. Now, um, I use um, stretchers like this. I either can get them made like this or I can buy them individual bars and put them together. I'm thinking about learning how to make them myself and then I can have complete flexibility. So uh, I actually make put them together. So I've got control over what kind of canvas I use and the tension and how tight it is. So first of all, um, you need a piece of material. That's the canvas. Um, this one's actually a bit too big. So that's what we'll do for that. Uh, this is just an old stretcher that I'm using. Okay, and first of all, um, You put one of paper in there like that. And I put one on the other side. Now I've got this gadget. Um, this is called a canvas pliers or canvas stretchers. And as you can see, it just stretches the material. And I'm the, I use it the other way around than you meant to use it. Just do this on the side. Obviously, got too much material in the corners, but we're going to get rid of that in a minute. So now we want to do the opposite diagonals here and here. So Depends how neat you want it to be. Obviously I want the front to be very neat and the sides are quite neat. Grab it a bit. Okay. I'm going to cut off some of these corners now. Like this unscientifically. Okay, so we've done that one and that one. Thank you. 
because this is a small stretcher. I don't need to put any more in at the minute. And we're going to do uh, the corners. I'm just going to, it's a bit like a hospital corner. And you can see, so I've got too much. So there is a technical way to do these corners. I'll just do it so it works. Obviously, you don't want it too, too much um, bunched up. You want it um, on the side like that. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to take off some more of this here. Let's see if I can do this one any better. Everything will be alright in the end. Okay, so now let's get this corner. I can do one right at the, at the edge so I can hold that in place. Okay, um, you can tidy it up if you want, I don't normally, uh, I know I can buy these from the shops, the art shops, but they don't make them uh, with such good wood and not always with the same as good standard um, canvas as well. So that's um, how to put the canvas on, that's how I do it. Most of the, uh, the paintings that I've done are uh, done like this. So that's um, step one. The next step is to add the gesso. Hi, so this is uh, part two of how I prepare my canvases for painting. So I've already put on the, the canvas material onto the stretcher bars. So now it's just a quick demo um, about the gesso. Now, um, gesso is um, it's you're going to give it like a primer if you were decorating your house uh, a primer um, if you didn't put anything onto the canvas um, then the paint um, wouldn't adhere to it so um, this is just a shop bought uh, gesso but uh, traditionally it's made out of um, a binder um, quite often uh, rabbit skin glue and chalk um, traditionally it's off-white but you can get different colours or you can make it your own colour. Um, since I'm like doing handmade, the next one I might do, I might learn how to make the gesso, although I think that might be quite messy. Now what's going to happen is the gesso, when it dries, it's going to um, 
make the canvas um, also um, tighter as well so it will sound like a drum obviously that depends how tight I put, put it on as well at the same instance now I quite like the other reason for, for doing this is if I'm painting fast which is quite often the way uh, then sort of the paint brushes or the implements that I'm using when I'm painting fast they sort of bounce off the canvas so um, you can get a clear version as well um, I haven't used um, the clear or the black it seems to be quite traditional when it comes to the gesso but um, one day it's on my uh, list to experiment with I have actually got some clear gesso I can use so maybe that will be um, a soon experiment I think you can hear the change already um, to the sound of the gesso going on um, it's important to do the edges as well because that will tighten it even further sure that um, you don't get any any build up around the edges I'll sort that out in a minute if it's a bigger one which is bigger canvas uh, then it's easier to just leave it lying down on the side of the, the table and just walk around the table to do the edges that way okay so this is when it dries it's going to tighten the canvas further okay that's it um you leave it to dry and then I usually do a second coat um, if you want an even finer finish once it's dry you can use um, sandpaper this is just a decorating brush nothing fancy I mean if you don't actually want it smooth you can do sort of wavy lines and you'll get some of those that texture through I always start with smooth and then build it up the texture from there. So uh, that's it, that's um, preparing the canvas.